Raffle tickets for Joel Schwab. Oh, okay. You know, are you, is any Joel up here? Um, all down here. No, but I might be able to get some, bring somebody up. Do you want them? I think we're all going to need some cold Joel if there's any cold Joel. That's probably a good point. I was falling asleep at Switzerland. Like, literally falling asleep at Switzerland. What should I get, like a case? Yeah, Switch? just, you know, any, any cold Joel stuff. Big, it's it's kind of funny. <laughs> I was just trying oh, to... Oh, man. You sure you got the in and out right? I got the in and out backwards earlier, but you're probably not that dumb.
Greetings. Uh, okay, everybody, please shut up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know, we could just leave it at that, and I think we all understand, but uh, wow. I mean, it's been an incredible weekend. I just want to say, you're an amazing crowd. Uh, we haven't had a single incident with the hotel. Everybody's happy, and uh, it's been a great time, and I'm definitely going to be back here in a couple of years. Um, so uh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. And of course, I also want to give a big hand to the number twos downstairs and upstairs who kept this place running smoothly. It would have been nice to have been a number two myself, but uh, for whatever reason, I didn't get that number. And I know everybody's been asking uh, us to reveal uh, number one, and uh, I promise that by the end of this session, we will have an answer to that question. Is that the understanding? Okay. Uh, but first, we want to, uh, well, I want to start with an apology because the people that we're going to forget to mention, you have a right to be really pissed off at us, but there's just so damn many of you. But we're going to try, and we're also going to try and give away a lot of uh, stuff that people have given us to give away and stuff that we're donating. Um, but um, I guess uh, we just want to have people step up to microphones of various types and, and, and say who they'd like to thank and comments and experiences and things like that. Just to update, we still don't know Steve Rambam's situation. Um, it's kind of hard to contact the FBI on a Sunday. <laughs> Could be on Guantanamo Bay by now, we don't know, but uh, we're going to post updates to the website um, as soon as we fix the hard drive that decided to fail this weekend. When, <laughs> when we're, no, it's okay, we didn't lose anything, but uh, we were all here, so didn't really have time to go around uh, replacing things, so um, plus we didn't want really to look at our website anyway. Uh, but that'll all be fixed. We'll have updates and uh, audio of all the tracks up really soon. Um, who'd like to start? Trevor? Thanks, Manuel, and thanks for having me back every time. Um, I try and help out where I can, but really, it's you, the attendees, interacting among yourselves that makes this conference such a success. Thank you. Hi, my name is Christopher Petro. Uh, I'm coordinator for all the AV stuff here, uh, which mostly means I run around and make sure there are people to unload trucks and carry checks around and make sure people get paid and yell at people when rental gear doesn't show up. Um, Adam, though, he's the man who actually makes it all happen. Uh, he brings his crew in from uh, all the way from Pittsburgh, and uh, they work you know, pretty much around the clock, setting everything up, running all the... Uh, running all the sessions, and uh, we also had several uh, key volunteers who, who really helped us out. We had Quentin, we had uh, Barbara No, um, I'm Chris, yeah. Um, and I, if I forget anybody, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, so it was re who really made it all happen was Adam, his crew of uh, six or seven people, and uh, the three or four volunteers. We had Rax, of course, who was always running the camera all, all day, every day, every conference. <laughs> And I especially like to thank Chaos for setting up all the wonderful lighting in here. <laughs> Unfortunately, she left early on her way back to Pittsburgh, so she's not here. But uh, would you like to say anything else, Adam? I, I think Chris pretty much summed up what I've actually been doing here. But um, I just want to thank everyone who's actually helped out running a soundboard. Um, Lindsay is running one right now so that I can be up on stage instead of behind it. Uh, and a whole AB Tech crew from Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, who's made a lot of this run. Uh, things went fairly smoothly for us this year. We had our equipment come in um, five, six hours late during setup, which um, made getting it all done a lot harder. But uh, I think it still pretty much worked. Uh, and I want to plug once again anyone that wants to help us take down equipment later. Um, lots of gratitude to go with a free t-shirt and we'll be here for a little while if uh, you want to come back and join us. 
So hopefully I'll be seeing a bunch of you later after this talk. Hi, um, I'm Arsene and I like did some stuff. Um, uh, I want to thank Ethan and his crew, who I'll name in a second, for doing all the streaming that actually worked and the video space and, and the movie stuff. Um, so that's Ethan, Chris, Patrick, Chris M, Bart, Matt, and Mike. Um, I'd also like to thank Scott and his crew from the um, Lost Film Fest. If you guys caught that, it was pretty cool. And uh, I apologize to anyone that I yelled at during the um, course of the conference. It was really stressful. Hey, I'm Porkchop. I was a uh, stage manager and overall lead, I suppose, for the 18th floor operations during the conference. I really got to thank two big, two people a whole lot. That's Carl Loper, who helped us mostly in the B track, and Laszlo, who helped us mostly in the A track. Big hand to both those people for keeping everything on schedule. June and I tried to keep registration going. Uh, I think it went about as well as we could expect. Uh, I did it with the help of several people. Um, Aldert and Carrie and Megan and Cheshire especially gave up a lot of their time uh, sitting downstairs while everyone was up here having fun and uh, we're happy to do it so thanks. <laughs> Uh, hi there, I'm Mike. I did, uh, among the other things, the info desk and the vendor area. I want to thank all of our wonderful volunteers at the info desk who were there uh, much more than I was, and it was really great. I also want to thank our vendors who I think uh, really added to the conference with their stuff for you guys to look at and maybe buy. Uh, I also, there's all kinds of amazing people, all our volunteers. I also want to thank the hammock delivery people who came at 11.30 on Thursday night, way out of business hours. And there's just all kinds of stories like that one that really make this conference uh, a success. So it's really good, and thanks to all of you. My name is Albert Hazenberg and I want everyone to thank you here. You are geweldig. Um, it was fantastic that you are here. Oh, uh, hi. My name is Albert Hazenberg and uh, thank you for coming. Thank you very much for pre-registering. Really liked it. Appreciate it a lot. Still like cash, but thanks for coming. I'm Joe. Uh, I helped do a little bit of the ham radio setup, but more than me, I'd like to thank everyone else who helped with that part. Uh, if any of you saw the demo in the hallway, uh, Richard, that was most of his uh, equipment out there. Ed, who also brought a lot of equipment. Uh, and all the VEs who helped with the VE session, that was uh, Adam's friend, so maybe he can do some of the introductions. Uh, and thank yous for that. Here I am once again. I uh, just want to thank uh, Chaos, Stu, and uh, Ben Henty for helping out today with the uh, V session, and we should now have 12 new amateur radio operators after today. And also, of course, to Lynn, who got us the special event call sign N6H. I'm back. Come over. So, uh, first person I wanted to thank is um, Dragorn because uh, a lot of the a lot of the network wouldn't have worked if it wasn't for him. Uh, he, not only did he do the wireless, but he really did make the uh, the core of the network work. So, big hand for Dragorn for doing a good job yet again. Um, I especially want to thank the uh, the Knox staff that we uh, were able to scrounge together. Uh, people like uh, L. Cruz, um, uh, Jason, Lexicon, um, also all the other uh, teams that sort of pitched in and doing uh, knock coverage, like uh, the AV team. Uh, you know, Chris, Patrick, Ethan. Um, 
all the other people he mentioned, I can't remember right now. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, also, the, you know, the core of the network team, like, you know, uh, Porkchop and uh, Gothchick and... Um, Let's see, uh, Shardy, um, I'm probably forgetting a bunch of people, but you know, I'll uh, give you staff, <laughs> when I see I'll give you staff shirt to make up for it. So uh, also wanted to thank um, Network Access Corp for uh, providing the IP addresses and the uh, bandwidth again this year and for the DSL. And uh, any, who do you want to? I just want to thank uh, Emmanuel and the whole 2600 crew for uh, inviting me down here and taking a big risk with uh, Rainbow Birdband and uh, Adam for keeping it all together. Uh, despite tremendous pressure. So I think if anybody deserves a round of applause, it's these guys. Hi, I'm Doug with the Public Terminal Cluster. Uh, do try not to repeat all the names that are up here. I, they're all my cards, so I'm not going to repeat those, but a couple guys that do deserve recognition. One is Greg Newby, who did a lot to make this whole thing happen, and uh, another th guy I'd like to thank, he's right over here. So a round of applause for that guy, please. <laughs> and also uh, Frank, the head of security, Frank, who uh, helped me out a lot and did, was just there all the time and did all sorts of stuff. I mean, this place is full of unsung heroes and competency just oozes out of the pores of everything around here, so it's been an amazing time. And uh, yeah, it's been fantastic. So everyone, everybody up here deserves it. Everyone down there, if I didn't name anybody, since I only named two people, please don't think that you're unappreciated because you certainly are. This has been a fantastic experience. And uh, thank you. This is Carrie, and I'm Pamela Gothchick. And uh, we are, <laughs> thank you. I guess, yes, we're the only females up here, so, yeah. Uh, we're the, woo, girl power. Um, keep those tubes running. Um, <laughs> so, we, we were the volunteer coordinators, and the uh, first person I have to thank is Carrie, because when I wasn't working on it, she was, and when she wasn't working on it, I was, and um, God, I wrote a lot of names down uh, but uh, the, the big people we have to thank are all the people who, uh, one, volunteered. There were 136 of you on our spreadsheet by the time uh, we started this con. And all the people who didn't volunteer in advance but showed up on Thursday and said, can we help with setup? What can we do? What can we do? And we tried to put you to work. If we didn't, I apologize. I hope you had a great time anyway. Um, <laughs> And also, uh, I want to thank all the people who come to the 2600 meetings in New York City and say, what if, you know, what if we did this? What if we did that? That's how we got a lot of speakers and uh, how we got a lot of the projects and workshops. Um, like, uh, and also a big thanks to Graffiti Research Labs for all these lovely LED lights that you're all wearing. They did a great job. And, uh, and a big thanks to everybody who said, I will do whatever you need us to. Um, un unbelievable uh, what we can pull off in four days. And I'm, I'm really proud of uh, all of them and all of these people on the stage. They're an amazing group of people. And uh, I strongly suggest that for the next conference, if you have the time, uh, we start about six months beforehand trying to plan. And uh, it's definitely worth the effort. And, it's a very rewarding experience, so please, please join us next time. Thanks. I'm sorry. Thank you to the biggest volunteer, Emmanuel. I'm Bernie S. And uh, I just did a lot of background stuff that isn't generally seen, like handling radio communications. And I uh, want to give a big thank to uh, uh, our two main uh, security guys, Frank and Kush. Come on up. They kept this place. They kept this place well ordered. Uh, everybody was safe. Nobody got seriously injured. Anybody who did got slightly injured got immediate medical care. Um, <laughs> with pain relievers as necessary, <laughs> liquid pain relievers. Um, 
they have a whole security cr crew to thank. Um, so I'll let them do that. Um, there were a lot of a lot of tremendous speakers and uh, various areas like the uh, retro computing area. I hope you all enjoyed checking out those old machines. The lock picking village. Uh, we had Tool um, from Barry Wells from uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, that's T O O O dot N L, and also Tool USA. Um, there were several tables full of people all night long learning to pick locks and, and understand security, physical security. It was amazing. All night long, dozens of people doing this. So thank all for coming, and uh, here's the security guys. I really want to thank all of you guys. Uh, you did my job a little, a lot, actually, less stressful, but uh, I sort of stepped into the uh, role of head because uh, road dancers, many know, was uh, hit by a drunk driver well, uh, before he could come up to the conference. I usually play second and third. It's usually me and Kush and Road Dancer. So um, he's recovering. He's going to be better. Hopefully be here for the next one. I really want to thank everybody on my team, Josh, Kush, Rich, some of the other guys. They did a great job. Emmanuel and the team. And uh, round of applause to all you guys. Thank you very much. I don't know if people realize how difficult the, uh, the security job is, but it's something that, um, well, in most cases, most uh, conferences like this, you hire a security team, a, a bunch of professionals who you don't know, who are very impersonal and kind of nasty. And uh, what we've managed to do with the help of, of our great security people is keep it in-house so that uh, we know the people, they know us, and they've done a better job than anybody we ever could have hired. They've done it for, for free. They've stayed up days at a time. I think that's the greatest people to work with, and I hope we're lucky enough to have them again next time. So thanks again, guys. Look what's sitting underneath the table. Number one. <laughs> well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Uh, but there are a couple other people to, uh, to thank. Uh, how about uh, Fred, the guy who made the artwork that uh, is on your shirt? As a kid, I've had two passions, drawing and computers. So to be here, to be able to contribute to a hacker conference is beyond cool. Um, the mixture of advanced technical knowledge and the childlike spirit of uh, creativity and curiosity here is very inspiring. Thank you. And those of you who stick around after this will uh, get one of Fred's uh, volunteer t-shirts, uh, which uh, you can wear proudly for the rest of your lives. But if you stick around and help us, you're helping us save a ton of money from having professionals come and pack everything up for us. Uh, it takes about an hour or so with a lot of people, and we did great last time. So please stick around after this is all over. I also want to thank, uh, for those of you downstairs, how many of you got to ride Segways for the first time ever? All right. What a blast, eh? Nobody got, nobody got too hurt, right? What, you lost a leg? I'm so sorry. Well, lost and found is downstairs. We'll... All right, I want to thank the two guys who were um, um, A-Team and Kevin. Come on up. Tell, tell us some of the more interesting experiences. Uh, first, I want to thank everyone who helped us along the way, volunteering with giving rides. It's really repetitive to keep explaining those instructions, but uh, thanks a lot. Uh, I'm glad no one got really hurt, and uh, this conference is all about sharing and getting things out there. And the Segway is usually seen as like a rich man's toy that no one gets to touch, but I think everyone had a pretty good time on it. If you didn't get a chance, sorry, there's, you know, limited resources as always. So uh, that's it. Thank you, everyone. I'd just like to thank the late night security team for doing such a great job of keeping these things safe. And, uh, and all the people who didn't run into a wall. Before we do this, there's one person that's left to thank, and it is uh, number six himself, who has put countless hours and months uh, into this conference, 
and is really irreplaceable and uh, really made this happen. So a round of applause for number six. Thank you so much. I didn't ask to be number six, and I did not name half the conference after me. <laughs> or actually, two thirds of it. Um, Greg, Greg Newby, come on up, say hi. The uh, hotel is uh, some super people, and they let us do some incredibly wacky stuff. And uh, uh, I got to interact. I think really there were just three or four. We tried to keep it to a minimum of interacting with the hotel staff. I don't want to mention who they were. There was uh, Laura. Uh, Lara, I'm sorry, Lana. <laughs> My wife is named Lana. Lana, Tara, Bruni, also Mike, um, and uh, a few other people in the hotel were just uh, super and wonderful. Fernando, and if you want to um, thank the hotel at some point for letting us do all these things, you don't necessarily need to mention things like wacky or, or uh, you know, um, send them a letter. They, they, uh, they appreciate that feedback. And as always, my goal for this conference is to try to be in multiple places at once. I'm still working on that. Yeah, and this hotel really makes it possible. I mean, we're here in the middle of New York City, and it really isn't possible to do something like what we do every couple of years. I mean, right in the middle of Manhattan with traffic going by at 3 in the morning, how many of you hung out upstairs and watched the thunderstorm last night, seeing all of New York City in front of you? It's, it's beautiful. I'm just glad this place is here, and I'm glad we can still afford it. So let's hope it doesn't get renovated too much. <laughs> now, uh, there is business to take care of, and I, I believe, Mike, you have, um, you have a computer program that, uh, that we came upon that knows answers to things. Is that right? Yeah, bring, the, bring that mic up, please. Hi. Hello, okay. hello. Okay. Uh, so some of you may recall that last year we wrote a very kind of hacky uh, shell script to give outdoor prizes. This time we planned a whole you know, hour in advance and wrote some very sophisticated uh, C code to help us determine the important question of uh, who is number one. So I don't know if all of you can see this, but hopefully well, some before, of you can. Before, uh, okay. Yeah. That's the program that will that, do it? Yeah, it's very, very sophisticated. All right. So we actually we, tested it, debugged it. It, so it works. What, what you're saying is that this program not only will pick number one, yeah. but guarantees that number one is actually in the room. Because from what I can see, that, that could generate a number of somebody who never even got a badge. Oh, no, no, no. It, it's, it's tested. It's debugged. <laughs> <laughs> well, gosh, what can, I, what can I possibly say? Well, okay, you, you're going to. Yeah, so we get you sure you know what you're doing now? Yeah, okay. yeah. Let me so just, before, before we actually reveal um, who number one is, I just want to express my personal thanks because without number one, we would not be able to do any of this. And we all owe so much in the way of thanks, gratitude, and just heartfelt inspiration to that which we all know is there. And. How, no, I don't know how else to say it, I don't know how else to, uh, to express my, my heartfelt thanks, but I think we all deserve a round of applause for number one. And now, number 1721. 1721. That's you. A round of applause for number one.
Thank you, number one, for those inspiring uh, words. <laughs> we all owe our lives to you. Um, I forgot to thank uh, Scott Beban from the Lost Film Fest right here. Wave your hands up there. Um, he kept a, uh, Scott kept a, a, an amazing assortment of films running for hours on end, uh, which people could relax in comfy hammocks. <laughs> it's, uh, it was quite a, it's more comfortable than any theater, I can imagine, and uh, better entertainment than most theaters as well. So thanks a lot, Scott. And uh, also out on the uh, mezzanine second floor, we had a lot of vendors that uh, were very generous with us this year. We have a mountain of, a mountain of swag for y'all. Um, I want to thank O'Reilly Associates. They've donated cases of some pretty nice new titles. Uh, Make, Make Magazine, Phil uh, donated some, uh, some great stuff. Uh, Lady Ada uh, has some, some great kits. Uh, War Driving World has some nice uh, Wi-Fi products for uh, we're driving uh, uh, the Prometheus Radio Project, which gave a great presentation about uh, community radio. Um, donated some amazing shirts, like the ones. <laughs> I want to thank Senator Ted Stevens. Thank you. I'm a little tired for uh, giving us this inspiring interpretation of the internet. <laughs> and uh, it's not a truck, it's a series of tubes. Make sure you all send your internet to Senator Ted Stevens. <laughs> uh, a couple more vendors I wanna thank is uh, Differware. They, they donated a whole bunch of these really cool RFID wallets, really, really slick. I don't know if they're vegan wallets or not, but they will uh, protect your your private information from uh, on RFID cards from uh, getting into the hands of people you don't trust. And uh, lastly, uh, Autonomedia. They were uh, not a really a technical uh, book bookseller, but they had a lot of really uh, alternative uh, titles. There's one. Um, <laughs> Um, you know, we like to mix, we like to mix it up here at Hope. So, uh, we've got a bunch of, uh, I'm sure you all saw their table. Uh, we'd like to mix up, uh, various interests, get to different communities together. And, uh, they donate a lot of books. So we've got a big pile of swag we're going to be giving on now. How are we going to give it away? Maybe we should give it all to number one. <laughs> It'll, it'll weigh him down. All right, Mike, do you have a, another program that might work for this? Hi. Okay. Yeah, we have uh, some especially special things, and, and I think that makes sense, to give away. And uh, we can maybe use the same sort of... <laughs> ah. That button. We do know how to use computers around here, right? Uh, so, what, Bernie? Where'd you go? Uh, so we have uh, this this thing right here, which I, Bernie can tell you what it is. I don't know. It's a a Roomba. No, a Roomba. Excuse me. <laughs> I had something else on my mind. Uh, uh, the folks at Make Magazine, Phil especially, uh, donated a, a brand new Roomba vacuum cleaner, but it's been specially hacked and modified with a uh, uh, Bluetooth to serial converter, and uh, it, and its uh, firmware's been updated. And there's a copy of the magazine, the Make Magazine article on how how this tool can be used to basically have your own personal robot that does what you want it to do, not just uh, vacuum the house. This thing's worth like three or four hundred dollars, so we got to pick somebody special for this thing. Um, unless there's anybody, is anybody here who doesn't need a personal robot? Raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have to figure something else out. 
All right, so we'll uh, give this uh, thing. Is number 1037 in the room? If you are, you've won. If you don't uh, stand up soon, someone else will get it. OK. How about 671? Where is everyone? Uh, 755? Five five two. Yeah. This thing's pretty cool. Should I just throw it out and do it? I should have just turned it on and have it like go visit him. Hey, have a robot. <laughs> and we've got a couple of other special things. Uh, we have here a set of all the back issues of uh, Make Magazine. This is a great magazine. It's a, I, I think it's a good complement to 2600. Um, this is really focused on uh, do-it-yourself hardware hacking with uh, ordinary materials you can find around your home or whatever, and uh, some really pretty cool stuff. So uh, it's, not even a, it's not an inexpensive magazine either, but it's well worth it, and the whole collection has a lot of great projects. So who's going to get it? Uh, do we have number 511? It's a good number, too. Anyone have it? Five one one. Uh, Eleven thirty nine. Seventeen forty three. Twelve fifty seven. Nine fifty five. Five zero nine. Do people like know that the numbers are right on their chests? Uh, anyone have four six two? Uh, Eleven thirty one. Eighteen twenty. Lower, higher. Let's Eleven sixty. How about eleven sixty? Is that person here? <laughs> or an eleven thirty even? Where, what's wrong with this? Uh, seven six two. Or seven four seven. I saw that one. I remember it. Yeah, I saw that one. We have a device here um, called a TV Be Gone. We've got a couple of them. That, uh, that M M Mitch Altman, Mitch Altman was uh, kind, of generate, kind enough to donate some of these to us. And he donated a whole lot to WBAI and Off the Hook uh, for recent pledge drive. And uh, it's basically an amazing little keychain device. You can turn off any TV set. Uh, boy, she was, uh, she was really, really excited <laughs> to get all this. Wow, you can't say that now. <laughs> Where's those TV begones? I'm going to find them. Hold on. Well, why we find, while we find them, uh, we have a pretty controversial thing here. This is a this is a new book that's coming out from No Starch Press, uh, probably in a month, a few weeks. Uh, this is the uh, this is the galley copy. There's only one of these, and uh, No Starch had to really stand on its head to get this book through legally. As you can imagine, uh, there's some criminal uh, federal criminal statutes, specifically. Uh, uh, Title 18, Section 229, which I'm intimately familiar with. 
that uh, involve a uh, modification of uh, telecommunications instruments for the unauthorized access to telecommunications services. <laughs> And uh, this book, this, this, on this galley here has some content that is likely to be stricken after the EFF lawyers are done saying, well, you're going to go to jail if you publish it this way. So this is really a unique prize. We want to pick somebody who, not just a random number, but a, a random member of our community who is going to really appreciate and put this book to use. Um, the full title, the full, fully published book will be out in about six weeks. So um, how are we going to do this? We're... Uh, I'm sorry? I'll have to look at the inside of the... He wanted it's, to know it's whether a this is a copy. creative, they don't have a creative commons, creative co commons license. I don't know. So to whoever gets this, I would doubt uh, it. it'll be your, you know, if, if, it's, if it's okay and if they would allow it, uh, we would be happy to publish that in Project Gutenberg. If it's allowed, we'll find out. <laughs> Now, if you win this and it's really not your thing, let the next person have it because uh, this, is, this is really for the kind of person who's really going to put this book to use. So let's try some numbers. All right, we're going to try this uh, hopefully, a, hopefully a little bit faster this time. What, what about doing a trivia question? Yeah, yeah we could do that. Yeah. Trivia question? Yeah. I, have, I have trivia questions in my pocket, but maybe someone has a better one. Yeah, some, some, something related to this particular technology. There we go. That's a good one. I was trying, trying to think how to work it. Well, too many people know that one. Uh, no, anyone have any really obscure? We're going to look in the book itself. So, uh, All right, here's one. Uh, what is the uh, channel width of a Doxis, Doxis signal? Well, too many people. <laughs> we had like four people say that at once. A lot of you guys really are, smart you guys people are good. <laughs> All right, uh, everybody who had the answer to that, stand up. I mean, only you people. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pick a, a single digit and see if it matches the last number in your name number. But that's confusing. Who? What do you want me to do? A single digit number. Two. Do either of you have a, a badge that ends in a two? All right. No, no, no. Somebody who had, knew the answer to the question and whose yeah, badge how, ends how in two. How many people are there? Both of them? Two people. Two people, okay. All right. Uh, and the first, we're going to... We're going to randomize the first digit. Well, do, does one of you have odd or even or something easy like that? Okay, odd or even. Are they, uh, the are they both even or odd, or are they different? All right, uh, so we'll, we'll, the next number we'll generate will also be either odd or even, and, and that person will win. And it's uh, two again. <laughs> All right. There you go. Now, I'm going to give you some personal advice about, <laughs> about this uh, reprogramming telecommunications instruments. Um, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> actually, I can't give you any advice about this. <laughs> you follow my advice, you land your ass in prison. The other guy, by the way, is going to get something uh, almost as good. I know, a, uh, a beautiful RFID wallet. LFID proof wallet. This is beautiful piece of uh, wallet material. <laughs> I I hope you're into leather. And we have uh, three more of those we want to give away. Okay. Four more. Is that, no, that's not random enough. I don't know. Let's, let's, generate, let's generate a random number, and I'll throw it at that angle. 
between what zero and, and one eighty? <laughs> yeah. Three sixty. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll start with 10.99, and, and we'll go up if you have 10.99, or 11.00, or 11.01. Oh, we got one. Oh, we got 1.00. Oh, that one I can throw. Ah. And someone near you gets one, too, I guess. Throw back, throw back. Throw one of them back, please. Thank you. Oh, so honest. Yeah, throw them back. Honest. Honesty. All right. See, honesty pays. See, honesty pays. A couple more RFID wallets. Yeah. These things are great. I, I look at the inside of these. It's an extremely finely woven aluminum mesh inside this thing. It's, a, it's like a personal Faraday cage for your RFID cards. And, you know, in the next few months, year or so, you're going to start getting, if you use credit cards, you're going to start getting these whether you like them or not, frankly. And it, and it comes with credit cards. <laughs> What's the limit on that card, by the way, Mike? So let's, uh, we have 372, is that person here? Or 373, 374, 375? Oh, we've got one. You're gonna have to come up here, I can't throw that accurately. It's, it's true, I, I was never any good at baseball. Oh yeah. I guess we have one more. No, it's, I mean, it was saying it matches or corrupted. One more RFID wallet. Uh, 753, 754, 755. Is that? No, false alarm. 756. Yeah. All right, right in, the back. in the back. Now, I brought something special. Uh, some of you may know I have an interest in, uh, in telephones. Who knows what this is? These are, uh, th these are genuine Western Electric payphone locks, Model 30C, probably one of the most secure locks um, we're likely to run into in our daily lives. And uh, I have three of these that I specially modified to be sort of cutaway locks. You can actually see the inner workings of them. And they both come with uh, two identical keys. So uh, who wouldn't want to have a payphone lock hanging on their keychain? I don't know, it's, it's just kind of a nice conversation piece. So these are pretty hard to get, and uh, there's three of them here. So we're gonna give them away. Uh, do we have 863 or 864? All right. We have three of these, so we'll go with uh, 1034 or 1035. I see some waving. All right. All right. One more. And the third one we'll give to uh, 1960 or 1961, 1962. Hey, I have that one, but I can't. I'm just. That would really you be can't neat. Win. I can't win my own you, donation. What, what are you gonna do with your own lock? Uh, 19, what was I on, 1963, 64, 1965, all right. And I want to say, uh, the, peop the three people who were uh, likely to win these uh, payphone locks with keys, right here. Um, you can get a lot of information about these. Uh, Matt Blaze put together a great website. If you just uh, do a web search for payphone locks, you'll find a, a link to uh, crypto.com. And uh, there's a really beautiful manual on how these things were, were put together. I don't know about the legality of uh, possessing <laughs> a, a, a payphone uh, key. But uh, the, the, the question of whether uh, lock picks are legal is another gray area, but we have these really special payphone, or not payphone, very special uh, lock picks. I don't know if you can get the, uh, take them open. These were, these were put together by Mark Tobias, who did that great presentation with Barry Wells, Barry the Key. Um, these were specially chemically etched with the uh, Hope, Hope Number no. 6 logo.
All right, it's not a great camera. Macro. Here we go. It's coming into focus. Well, trust this. I can read it from where I'm standing. <laughs> this rental equipment, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, there, you can see. Really it has cool. both a tool logo, T-O-O-L dot N-L, uh, which is an amazing uh, lock pickers group in the Netherlands. Um, and it also says Hope Number 6. And you now, pretty cool souvenir from this conference. So we have uh, three sets of these. I want to thank Mark Tobias and Barry the Key Wells for donating these. Boy, we're going to... All right. Our AV staff is dedicated, as always. <laughs> but uh, I, I guess we'll switch over here. Oh, well. uh, and we'll start with 892 or 893. All right, that's the first one. And 1905, 1906, 1907, 1908. So I guess if you arrived around the same time as a lot of people who already left, you have a, a better chance. Uh, 1909. Right there. All right. Yay, Liz. All right. And uh, the last of these sets goes to 1049 or 1050, 1051. And then I see some waving. All right. It's very hard to see you guys with so bright lights. So. Well, we got so much stuff here. Uh, here's a, a kit that Lady, Ady do Lady Ada donated to us. This has a label on it, so we should be able to... It's the Minty Boost version 1.1 kit. Ah, there we go. And, uh... All right, no, you can see that side. Leave it up. Now, I forget what, the, what this does, but this has something to do with the... Mo modifying an iPod to do what? Charge your iPod in what way? What's that? Oh, it's an, it allows you to build an Alto, uh, uh, a, a charger for your iPod into an Altoids can. And uh, it's a pretty neat little thing. Uh, but the Altoids can is not included. If you don't like Altoids, you can give them to me because I like them. Altoids aren't vegan. Some people might not want them. This was featured in Make Magazine, too, this, uh, this kit. And we'll give it to a number 1292 or 1293. Oh, yeah, 1292. So fast. All right. And this kit here is a do-it-yourself uh, Simon kit. I don't know if we're from back in the 80s. You had one of these. Uh, you, it's sort of like an electronic memory. I don't know. Was it, was it the memory thing? It was like, like was a hand-eye coordination thing with LEDs? It was a sequencing thing, right? You had to remember the sequence of the flashing lights and press them in sequence. And if you didn't, you got a severe electric shock. So pick a number for a good masochist. Uh, if number 515 is a masochist. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the folks at wordrivingworld.com. Word Word uh, this is a build a cantenna kit, a Wi-Fi antenna. Uh, this is a... You supply some of the components which are available at the hardware store, and the rest of it is uh, the, um, the hard to find parts are here. All right. Uh, 1894, 1901, 02, 03, all right. This is very cool. This is a war uh, adapter card. And uh, uh, programs like Kismet 
will allow you to find all kinds of wireless networks around and do interesting things with them which we can't comment on. Comes with a floppy disk for some reason. Floppy disks? <laughs> I haven't seen one of those for a while. This is a pretty cool item. So let's hear a random number for this winner. Uh, 2049, which is right at the end. I don't know if we gave it out. Let's start. Uh, 1610. Oh, 2050 is here? All right, you win. We'll, we'll give the next prize to uh, 1610 once we figure out what that is. We've got so many other things that aren't, uh, are just too many to mention. Uh, we've got cases of books. We've got a lot of t-shirts. Um, all the uh, uh, internet is a series of tubes uh, shirts are, are really designed for, uh, well, I don't know want to sound sexist, but they're, they're, uh, they're women's, women's sizes or women's shapes uh, for some strange reason. Um, so maybe we can randomize some female uh, numbers and some Lost Film Fest. Uh, so lost we're going to leave some package deals here to, to uh, start blowing out this stuff fast. We, we, uh, we'll, uh, we have all kinds of stuff. We got we a whole have, bunch uh, of the a, new 2600 mouse pad and a 2600 cap. The classic 2600 cap. Boy, look at it gleaming. And uh, <laughs> and we have. T-shirt, more T-shirts, 2,600 T-shirts. Uh, Hope number six T-shirts. Yeah. Designed by Fred. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, nice package. And uh, what else do we have? We have lots of books. Is this all one package for one person? Oh, no, no, no. We'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll pick the last two numbers, and people with those two numbers will win. And they can just pick what they want up here. Uh, we have, uh, I already showed this one. Yeah, they're, they're from. These are from Autonomedia. They come with this nifty little card. <laughs> and uh, they, they have books like Economizing Culture. And uh, you don't get to keep the microphone. Behind the blip. <laughs> read, oh, read, me. Me, read me, read me, read me. So uh, if the last two digits of your badge are 31, then you will win your choice of these prizes. So. 31. Pick a book. There's only two of you with Grab 31. Grab one quick. There's a, maybe a third. Also, if you're badging, you ends have to in judge 24, it by the cover. 24, you've also won. You have to pick quickly, or, or we'll just give you something. You forfeit your chance if you don't pick it quickly. If your badge ends in 24, you have won. A little intermission here. I just have an announcement for anyone who wishes, and everyone who can. We've got a bunch of free stuff at the public terminal cluster on two. If you're coming up the escalators, it's around to the left. Huge free for all, all sorts of hardware, everything you'd ever want in, well, a mainframe based terminal cluster. Please stop by and pick up stuff anytime between now and you know, as soon as this thing is over. So, yeah, 10 minutes after this thing is over, it'll probably all be gone. So, please stop by often and early. Thank you. Let me just add to that that there are a lot of people sitting near the public terminal cluster who would not like their laptop stolen. So please don't randomly take things. And also during takedown, I forgot to mention earlier, if you have a question about what needs to get done, please just find somebody with a blue badge and we will be glad to put you to work. Thanks.
QuickBooks. Let's get a whole bunch of people to grab these books. What? Another 100? No. No. Numbers. Numbers. 77. I thought this was debugged. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want a book or a shirt? Any, pick, pick any one thing. There's shirts and hats over here. Yeah, grab one. Uh, we'll also throw into the mix for the next uh, group. We have a build a biquad antenna kit from War Driving World. And uh, I don't I don't know what this is, but it says Compaq on it. It's an Orinoco Gold USB Herms chipset and five DBI antenna. That's pretty good. It's wanted so much by the core staff, but it will go to uh, a lucky winner. A copy of the Fourth World War from uh, Big Noise Films. That's VHS. I don't really know if you can play that. If you can't play that, don't take it. Hey, it's not protected by the DMCA. And uh, if your badge ends in 35, you have won your choice of these items. I just found out, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but uh, there's a crowd of people downstairs in the second floor watching this on a video screen. And I understand that every time a number is picked, they're freaking out because they, they're trying to get up here and they can't. By the time they get to the elevator, it's given to somebody else. So just so you know, yeah, you're torturing people by doing this. We have all kinds of cool stuff. Still We Ride, actually a coworker of mine made this film. It's really awesome. It's about uh, bicycling in New York City. Uh, denim and diamonds, street medics unite. Uh, I can't read this, Robotnika. Robotnika. Sounds like fun. Chrome Melodian, this is, this, we have a whole bunch of these. Um, these are, uh, this is music inspired by 8-bit video games. <laughs> And we got books. And No Starch Pre no Starch Press gave us a lot of great books too. Uh, we have we have several copies of uh, John Erickson's uh, Hacking: The Art of Exploitation. Actually, John was here at the conference. Uh, he was one of our speakers, and he did a book signing. So uh, we've got about about a dozen of these to give away. So let's hear some numbers. Uh, number eighty-seven. If your badge ends in eighty-seven. And uh, also, if your badge ends in number 80. And if you haven't been, what? If you haven't been selected yet, and you help clean up, then in addition to getting a t-shirt, we will be giving away all that remains to the volunteers. So this is a real incentive to help us. We really want to thank all the folks at No Starch and everywhere else who gave us all these things. We have uh, a billion t-shirts over there. These are from, uh, that's backwards, the folks at Polytechnic University who are running a uh, information security program. You could be an intern at the NSA. Something you're Seriously, interested that's in. What this is. Uh, this is from Make Magazine. 
Void your warranty, violate a user agreement, fry a circuit, blow a fuse, poke an eye out. Now we gotta. I want to thank. A, I want to thank Jello for uh, donating some of these shirts. This man is a heartbeat away from the presidency. We found the TV begones. Doesn't doesn't work on. I want it to be a Cheney begone, but lost film festival. Oh, now this is a great book I found. Um, it's called Writing Solid Code by Microsoft. <laughs> and a complete uh, box set of the first year of Make Magazine. Good stuff. So that is most of the stuff. Numbers, numbers. no numbers, you've got to help clean up. Lots of books from O'Reilly, Mind Hacks. Why are you people still sitting here? If you help clean up, that's your chance to get the books. Okay, so. <laughs> so, before you guys all rush off to help clean up, the one other thing we had to do is the. Uh, I wanted to thank the people who ran the uh, beverage sales down on the second floor with all the Jolton balls. They, uh, they really came through. They only had about three days' notice, and he started out calling the uh, CEO of Wet Planet Beverages and uh, kind of worked his way down through marketing and everyone. So we have uh, a bunch of Jolt swag to give away. So if you purchased it and you got a raffle ticket, we've got 10 T-shirts and one huge Jolt banner we're going to give away here. So. If uh, you're one of these people here, take a look at your... Coupons. Okay, we've got three two three nine seven four, three two three eight three seven. Uh, ends in eight five three, zero three six, zero three three, <laughs> zero three one, zero two four, zero two seven. Zero two one. Oh, did you get one of those? Yeah. Uh, hold on. And uh, we got nine one three and nine one four too. Apparently, there are two people stuck in a hotel elevator right now, so uh, they deserve free t-shirts. Okay. So if you'd like to uh, help tear down the AV and get yourself a t-shirt and some prizes, go into Area B right now. They're already working on that room, and uh, look for the AV staff people, and we're going to split up, do this room, that room, and the stuff downstairs. So uh, find one of the AV staff in there, and they can put you to work and help you get your prizes. So yeah, if you're if you're going to volunteer to do stuff, uh, go ahead and work with us, and uh, then once in an hour or so, once we're done, we'll uh, hand out all the swag then as the prizes. Hey, there's a big after party tonight. The after party is at Mustang. Harry's or Sally's? At Mustang Harry's, not Mustang Sally's. Mustang Harry's, which when you come out the uh, when you come out of the the hotel, you make a left, and it's about a block up on the right. At nine o'clock is the after party at Mustang Harry's. And for most of us, the big after party is called sleep, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. Hey, everybody! Thanks for coming. See you next time, right? <laughs>